What's up everybody? Welcome to Bucket Moto. Today we're going to try to replace the uh, throttle cable uh, and hopefully get the bike running again. Check it out. So as you currently see, throttle is ripped so this spins freely uh, I have purchased a brand new throttle cable we're gonna lube it up first then we're gonna take all this off take the carbs off again unless I can manage to find a way to do it without taking them off hook up the new cable route it put it in here connect everything and uh, hopefully have a uh, working throttle again so first on the list is getting the tank off. Uh, we have to unhook the fuel line, drain the fuel, hopefully not make a huge mess with it, uh, and get the tank off. Then I gotta disassemble all of this goodies to get to where the cables are. And uh, we'll go from there. Okay, gas tank is off with minimal fuel wastage. Um, it looks like I might be able to get to the uh, throttle cable right here, so this guy, um, from two angles, so I might just be able to unhook it, or well, actually no, no I'm not, because I still need to hook it into the actual assembly, um, which would imply that I have to take off the carbs. Okay, uh, so on to removing the filters and removing the carbs. Okay, so I'm moving along with taking these guys off. I think the next remaining thing is pretty much loosening up the um, uh, the little boots at the bottom and then we can just pull them off. Um, but I started loosening up the throttle on top and you can see the cable has just been ripped out. So let me get some more light. So it's ripped in there and you can see the tip of it is actually still here so I'll take that out and see what's going on here and why there was so much rubbing that it ripped it and uh, get things fixed up all right so carbs are half out this will have enough room to change out the cable uh, so I'm just going to loosen up the screws, take it out, put the end, and then we'll lube up the new one, attach it here, put this whole assembly back, route the cable, reassemble. Alright, so here we have the old throttle cable and the new one. The new one's nice and shiny. Uh, things are working. Uh, we're going to lube it up to do that. I'm going to use some Protectol Cable Life and along with it I got one of these cable loop tools so pretty straightforward pretty sure you just strap it on one end uh, and then you use one of these ports to with the little straw squeeze it in and it will just push loop all the way through so let's do that and then we can start mounting it Okay, the cable is nicely looped up. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. It moves very easily. So now we're just gonna attach it, fish it through, put these guys back in, reassemble and adjust the throttle to work just right. Okay, everything's back together. We have Doesn't spin freely. Doesn't do the weird clicking that it did before. So let's see how long it'll take for this thing to start. And let's see if it'll actually do anything. Okay, it needs to warm up. <laughs> Let it warm up a bit. I'll try it 
try the throttle afterwards. Alright, that works. Perfect. Alright guys, that was it for this episode. The new throttle cable is in. Um, I gave the bike a nice uh, little ride around the parking lot here. The throttle is very responsive. It's really good. Um, next uh, we have the Okay. I already have all the parts for it. I just gotta make a video of mounting it. The, I have to figure out the license plate holder. Uh, and I have to find a way to hook up the speedo sensor to the speedometer. Because right now I have no speedometer. Uh, and that would be it. Uh, we're pretty much ready for safety almost. So stay tuned. More videos to come soon. Uh, make sure to subscribe, click the little bell to get notifications when new videos become available. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. I post uh, pictures and videos, sneak peeks of things I'm doing um, on the bike, as well as like other things I see around town, all bike related. And uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.